Hi guys, my name is Mark Ebinger, and this is the groundbreaking video series, Essential Oils of the Bible. This is part four. If you haven't seen the previous videos in this series, I recommend that you pause this video and watch them first. Each of the videos builds on the previous one, so I recommend watching them in order. In this video, I'm going to discuss a few of the methods by which biblical apothecaries and perfumers obtain these valuable and precious essential oils. Essential oils, which are the water immiscible, lipid soluble portion of the plant juices that give it fragrance, flavor, character, and life, are extracted from plant materials such as leaves, stems, roots, bark, flowers, and resin. Most plants contain less than 2% oil, so a large amount of plant material is needed to generate usable quantities of this precious liquid. One method of extracting essential oils that has been around since at least 3500 BC and is still being used today is steam distillation. In steam distillation, the plant parts are packed into a vessel through which steam is passed. The steam vapors absorb the aromatic molecules in the plants and pass into a condensation vat where the oils separate from the water. The essential oils rise to the top and are skimmed off. Today we have high-tech equipment and materials to complete this process, but in biblical times they used stills made of stone and pottery which are chemically inert in response to the oils. Some modern stills are made of metals that can contaminate the oils, but high-quality essential oils are produced using stainless steel stills that offer up the same quality as was obtained in biblical times. Maceration is another way that essential oils were obtained. This ancient method of extracting essential oils is achieved by immersing plant material into a heavier oil such as olive oil or a fat such as goat fat, which then dissolves the lipid soluble portion of the plant fluid. The common technique was to pack a vessel with the plant material and then pour the heavier oil to the top and heat the vessel. Several days or even weeks later, the oily mash was strained or squeezed through the linen, thus separating the plant material from the perfumed oil. This process could be repeated with the newly obtained perfume oil and fresh plant material until the desired concentration was achieved. Expression is another method by which essential oils can be extracted. This process involves putting the plant material under extreme pressure to obtain their essential oils. Today, this method is referred to as cold pressing and is used to extract oils from the rinds of citrus fruits such as lemon, lime, bergamot, and grapefruit. Combining the maceration and expression methods of essential oil extraction is called enfleurage. In this method, plant material was put into a trough type container along with a base oil such as olive oil through which a heavy stone was rolled, crushing the plant tissues and releasing their oils to be dissolved into the base oil. The downside of this method is that some of the essential oils are lost due to evaporation. These are just a few of the ways that essential oils were obtained during biblical times, but it gives you some insight into the high cost of production not just in time and effort, but also the large volume of plant material needed. Essential oils were an integral part of biblical life, not just in the holy temple, but in the daily life of regular folks. These precious oils are still very relevant and important in our day, and I encourage you to learn how to make essential oils a part of your family. I'm excited for those of you who have heard this teaching. I think it would be impossible for you to go away without a deeper appreciation for the essential oils God has provided for us and a better understanding of their potential use to support our body and mind as well as deepen our relationship with the Lord. If you'd like to make essential oils a daily part of your family's life, click on the Get Started with Essential Oils button below. To continue on to the next part of the Essential Oils of the Bible series, click on the Continue button. Thank you for watching and have a great day. You get this beautiful box from Young Living and it says, From Our Fields to Your Family. And this holds your 11 oils. And you can tell because the box smells great. So when you open it up, you're going to get this card. It says this kit contains, and it's like a little packing slip of everything that comes in your box. And then you lift this guy up. These are your 10 oils.